Welcome to The Narrow Path. Hi, yeah. Um, my question is, um, Ronald Reagan, President Ronald Reagan, said that communism is an evil empire. And Minister Charles F. Stanley said he doesn't believe in communism because he says everyone has the right to get ahead. So my question is simply this. How can we be sure that communism is atheistic in principle? I, I guess we could listen to the communists about it. They're the ones who uh, insist upon co on atheism. Uh, now, I, I, assume, I, I assume that a person could be a sympathizer with a communist economic philosophy and still be a, a believer in God or a Christian. I think they'd be a very poorly educated Christian. Uh, but, but see, a lot of people don't know that Christianity is supposed to affect your life. Uh, they just think that Christianity is supposed to get you a ticket to heaven. And, and so there are people who've, uh, who've put the, you know, the token in the slot and pushed the button and got the salvation card. And uh, they, it doesn't change anything about them, and, and they don't know it's supposed to. They just think it's a ticket to heaven. But uh, that's not what salvation is in the Bible. In, salva in, in the Bible, we come into complete submission to Christ as our Lord and our King. And we take his yoke upon us, and we learn from him. And we believe what he says. And therefore, are, we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. So, so our whole thinking undergoes revision if we're really Christians, if we're really, if we've taken his yoke upon us and we're learning from him, he's teaching us and we're learning and we're changing. Now, uh, many people, uh, it, it may not be that their economic theory is the first thing that gets revised. A lot of Christians have never thought much about it. And, and by the way, economics and politics are, uh, you know, not something directly addressed as such in the Bible, but they certainly have moral ramifications, uh, and those ramifications are addressed in the Bible. For the government to take uh, you know, the resources from productive people and re redistribute them to people regardless of their uh, productivity is something that is morally wrong. Paul said those who don't work should not eat or those who will not work should not eat. There are people who don't because they can't, and that's not a problem. I mean, they're, they're not to be blamed for that. But those who will not work should not eat, and therefore uh, the Bible indicates that uh, prosperity and wealth are the product of uh, productivity, of, of working and producing something. Uh, it may be that you produce something that you don't use yourself, but then you trade it off with somebody who does produce the things you need in an, in an economy, uh, you know, that's fair and just, people produce something worth as much as what they consume, even if, even if they're producing something that they don't personally consume. For example, a person who might build iPhones for a living in a factory, uh, you know, may not ever have an iPhone, may not want one, but they're building something that is worth something to another person, including a farmer who raises the food that, that, that the uh, engineer eats, so, I mean, in economics, the ideal of justice in economics is that a person, uh, in every transaction, a person yields something to another person and receives something back of the same value to him. And therefore, there's no victims. There's no one who's produced something that's just stolen from him by the government or anyone else and given to somebody who didn't earn it. And this is where uh, communism is uh, out of step with, with Christianity, because, of course, stealing is out of step with God and therefore out of step with Christ. Now, some people point to the early church in Acts chapter 2 and in Acts chapter 4, where it says no one among them said that the things he possessed was his own. But, uh, you know, those who had extra stuff, extra lands and houses, were sometimes selling them and helping to uh, redistribute their wealth to those who didn't have any. Now, that's a wonderful thing, actually. That's a beautiful thing. That's what Jesus, for example, told the rich young ruler to do. Sell what you have and give it to the poor. Uh, if God tells you to give what you have to somebody, do it. Now, on the other hand, you can do it without a specific command just because you love people. Uh, it says in First John, if your brother is naked, uh, he says, he that has this world's good and sees his brother in need 
and uh, shuts up his bowels of compassion from him, how does the love of God dwell in him? That is, if you see somebody in need and you can help them, uh, then and you don't, how can you claim to have the love of God in you? And James said something very similar. I almost started to quote James about, about it, but in James chapter 2, he says, uh, if a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food and one says to him, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, and you do not give them these things which are needful to the body, what does it profit? Even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead. So people who have stuff should be eager to help out others who don't. But this has got to be done with discretion. You don't just hand, you just go, don't sell your house and give all the money to you know, the homeless camp down under the bridge. Uh, because, uh, frankly, that money can be better used. The homeless people under the bridge often have other options that they're not taking advantage of. And a lot of times the money that's given to them is being used for things you wouldn't approve of. I wouldn't anyway. So you don't just kind of say, well, they're poor, I'm rich, so I'm going to give up my stuff and I'm going to give it to them. No, we are stewards. And this is where communism differs from Christianity. Communism says, uh, yeah, you don't own any of your stuff. The state owns it. And they're going to take it from you and redistribute it to however they want to do. So they're going to confiscate what you earn and give it to somebody who didn't earn it. Now, Christianity is different than that. It's a matter of, of justice and mercy and generosity. Uh, the early Christians said they did not own what they had because they believed God owned it all. They were stewards of what God owned. And they were stewarding it as they felt according to God's interests. And that would mean to help people who are, let's say, unable to work, uh, uh, single mothers or widows or orphans, uh, people who were in need and had no way to lift themselves out of poverty. These, that, you know, the compassion of the church made sure these people were taken care of. Um, and so, I mean, communism doesn't let you do that. And, and by the way, socialism is just a soft form of communism. And uh, almost all Western nations, including our own, have adopted forms of socialism. Uh, just take welfare, for example. I mean, welfare is a form of socialism. It's, uh, we're so used to it, we don't think of it that way, but that's what it is. Uh, you know, the government taxes productive people and re redistributes uh, the resources to people who aren't productive. Okay, now sometimes those people who are not productive are legitimately poor and maybe the very kind of person that I would want to help anyway. In which case, I don't need the government to do it for me. I, I can do that myself. But some of the people the government gives to are people I wouldn't want to support, either because they're, they're simply uh, lazy and they don't want to work when they could, or they're living immoral lives and they even use whatever money they have to to do immoral things with their money, uh, or they're just bad stewards of it. I'd rather give it to someone who's going to take care of their family with it. You know, in other words, a Christian wants to redistribute his wealth to people who are poor, but these have got to be vetted. They've got to be people who we believe are legitimately poor. And, uh, and so that it's got to be voluntary. And that's how we steward things. The government, if the government takes the money and gives it to their favorite charities, well, some of their favorite charities are paying to, to kill babies in the womb, for example. And so, you know, the, obviously communism isn't guided by Christianity. You asked, uh, you know, how do we know it's atheistic? Well, I don't, think, I don't think every communist who's ever lived has been an atheist. But only those who don't know the ways of God or don't acknowledge the ways of God would adopt a communistic system of government where you confiscate something from someone uh, that's called robbery uh, and you give it to somebody who doesn't deserve it and didn't earn it. So that's called enabling, you know, irresponsibility. Uh, the Christian faith is not in favor of robbery or enabling irresponsibility. So that's why Christianity and communism simply are not in the same uh, moral universe.